against the man that is my fellow, said the Lord of hosts. Smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered, and I will turn my hand upon the little ones. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them and I will say, it is my people and they shall say, the Lord is my God. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you for your place in the body of Christ. We're so grateful for his presence and his power. You may be seated in the name of Jesus. Irregardless of what you see in the world today, there is a distinction in the body of Christ. And if you don't have the real thing, then everybody is on the same level. And Zachariah, he precisely share what God want. And even God ain't looking for everything, everybody. You need to thank God that you're here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank God that you got the mind to be here. Because you're listening to me. He said, if you smite the shepherd, the sheep will scatter. But when you when you've been taught just right, you understand every component in the fivefold ministry. And sometimes people want to be connected to what they want to be connected to. But I'm just thanking God for my place in the body. Amen. And I'm not talking about a title. I'm talking about a relationship. It's been that people got titles, but they don't have no relationship. Yes. Are you listening to me? And I'm so grateful that I'm in the real thing. Looking at how people respond in the world. And even church folk, they don't know how to respond to things. I'm just so grateful that we are in the truth. Amen. Do y'all love the Lord? Amen. You gotta want, you gotta desire God. It's not enough to impress what I see. That's not enough. It's not enough for me to put on a front in front of you. It's what's real on the inside. I want to be real on the inside. Are you listening to me? I don't want to have to put on a mask to come into the church and portray that I'm something that I'm not. Are you listening to me? So God got a system that's set up. He got a process to set up to determine if you're real or not. Tell somebody we're in the truth. Yeah, regardless of how you feel or what you think, you need to understand God taking you through the process. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? And right now, you're going through tests and trials and all kind of stuff happening in your life. And, and then you're going to get all discombobulated because God chose to make you. Something wrong if you're in here and you ain't going through nothing. Are you listening to me? This ain't the phony church. This ain't the made-up organization. Come on, come on. This is the real thing. Are you listening to me? It got to be more than your moans and your groans and your shouting and just speaking in tongues. I want the real thing. And the real thing going to go through the fire. Distinctly. The Lord said two parts. There shall be cut off and that. He said, two parts of his people going to be cut off and die. I'm going to be in the right number. He said, now, there's a process that you go through. There's a, he said, now, and I will bring the third part through the fire and refine them as silver. He said, now, I'm going to refine them as silver, but silver is not what I'm looking for. Tell somebody God won't go. Or you listen to me. You say, but I'm going to send you through the fight. I'm going to send you through the tests and the trials. And you can present yourself as silver coming out shining. But I ain't selling for nothing but gold. Are you listening to me? I want to be the real thing. 
do y'all love the Lord? And when you're real, you ain't popular. When you're real, you ain't got everybody in your corner. The only thing you know is I got the Lord on my side. Are you listening to me? My message today, I got to go through this too. I'm already going through something. Now I got to put up with this too? I don't know what your test is and I don't know who I'm putting to, preaching to, but I come to tell you today, you got to go through this too. Are you listening to me? I don't care how hard you think it is. I don't care how in your mind you think you don't have to go through it. You don't have to go through the fire. We don't have no hypocrites prospering in here. We don't have nobody moving up the ladder and they haven't been revealed. Tell somebody, I want to be revealed. I want to know what's inside of me. I want to know who ruling inside of me. If it's me, I want to know that. If it's the devil, I want to know that. If it's God, I want it to be manifested. I want to be saved. I don't quite preach like the popular people. I don't act like it. Are you listening to me? So I begin to search in the Bible. Go to Job 23, 10 and 11. But he know of the way that I take. And when he had tried me, I shall come out, come forth as gold. My foot hath held his steps and his way have I kept and not declined. God not selling for nothing less. Now, you can look at your neighbor and you can look at people around the church, but won't you tell somebody, you don't know what I've been through. You don't know what, do. you don't know what the person next to you going through right now. So God raised folks up to reveal them. I recall when I was coming up, growing up, I went to school, graduated from school, went to college, Eventually graduated from college, but everything equal up to me smoking dope. So the, the degree didn't mean nothing, and none of the stuff. I don't care what you done achieved in the past, it's where you are today. Because where you are today sums up your whole life. And it don't necessarily mean that you have to be where you are today. But you got a God that can pull you out of any situation. But you got to trust him. Tell somebody you got to trust the Lord. And when God makes somebody for real, I don't care if he put the enemy in camp all around you. He know how to keep you. He know how to make you. He know how to comfort you. He know how to take care of you. It ain't like everybody else. Are you listening to me? God is not in the category of humanity. People desire people. Come on, sir. They just they just want to be accepted by a group or accepted by a certain people. And you have in your mind the way you think your life. I can't even plan my tomorrow without him. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. Me and my wife detoxing it. She said, What you want to eat tonight? I said, I don't know. I don't know. I got used to not eating now. Y'all love the Lord? So what? He make you different. He make you different. He bring you to a process. And I thought about everything that's going on now. How something was introduced to the church and only certain ones embraced it. So I don't care how much you, you portray that you know God and your relationship with God it is revealed by fire. Amen. And Job said, now after he lost his children and after he lost all his money and possessions and lost his health, he said, now I'm going through this process. Why? Because I want to know him. I want to know the way he's taking me. I don't want to just have this, you know, you know, this superficial prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you for all my blessings and so forth. Lord, I just need you to help me. When Peter started sinking, he was walking water for, for just a little while. And he had the heart. He didn't go with the accolades. He just said, Lord, save me. 
a saved person hollering, Lord, save me. I'm talking to some of you saved people. You need to holler, Lord, save me. Help me through this situation. I got to go through this thing. I don't want to go through it. I don't like it. I don't like the way I'm going, but I got to go through it. I got to give you praise, honor, and glory. I'm not going to sit here and say I want to go through it. I got to go through it. I don't want to be ordinary. I don't want to be average. I don't want to be just like everybody else. There's two parts. I ain't going to make it. This is not the democratic way. Matter of fact, this is just the opposite. The majority are going to lose. I want to be saved. There were people that had it. Get out of my life. There were thoughts and reasoning I had within myself. God had to make me over. He had to snatch me out of me. It was too much of me inside of me. But when you're down here tearing for the Holy Ghost, the devil will leave. But many people still got themselves. They got 80% of them and 20% of God, and they go merely by whatever gift in that they have. Whether it's speaking in tongues, whether it's preaching, whether it's worship, whether it's praise, they're living off of gifting. I want to live off a of relationship. I ain't got the voice like some of them. I don't preach like some of them, but I got me something going on with Jesus. Because favor ain't fair. Are you listening to me? And whenever you sum up a ministry, it's supposed to be some souls in the church that you done, done impact in their life. Yes, Lord. Are you listening to me? So don't tell me about no ministry that ain't nobody that ain't getting saved in. Are you listening to me? Whatever you're going through is for your good. Whether you fail in the test, you're trying to take your higher. Whether you're going through the test, you're trying to take you higher. Whether you don't understand the test, tell somebody God just trying to take you higher. Whatever come at you, God trying to take you higher. He just wants you closer to him. And sometimes we won't go on our own. Especially if you got the majority backing you up. You got to learn how to be left alone. And Jacob was left alone. When he went to wrestle with the angel, wrestle with God, he was left alone. He had to leave his family on the other side of the brook while he go over there and get something from God. You got to be left alone. You can't always have these people in your mind. Oh, I'll be happy if you be with me. I'll be happy if you control me. I can't go there. And number one, I don't have to control in my life. Since I've been introduced to him, he got my mind. And so therefore, you're going to go through tests and trials because people are going to know they ain't got you. You don't live like them. That's why they're talking because they don't understand prophecy and so forth. But if you've been in something false all your life, when the real thing comes, you can't even recognize it. Are you listening to me? For from the law on up to the grace, the whole Old Testament was looking for the Messiah. They were taught that to look for the Messiah. And when God raised you up different, and Jesus, when he wrapped himself in flesh, he could have wrapped himself to be a tall, dark, and handsome man, but he came with no beauty and no comeliness. And even though they've been taught a certain way, they couldn't even recognize him. Are you listening to me? You so busy trying to be like other people, you want to be recognizable. But when God raised you up, it don't look like you're supposed to be who you are. You ain't gonna look like you're supposed to be in the position that you're in. You don't look like you're supposed to be blessed like that. You won't be just like him. When people want to be recognizable. Jesus came, this, this ugly man, 
came on the scene, it was God wrapped up in the flesh. It was God that wrapped himself in flesh and put him and riding on the donkey. He could have picked the climb down. He picked the donkey, an ugly man riding on the donkey. Because I don't want everybody to know who I am. He said, whoever I open their eyes. When the children saw him on the dunk, Hosanna! Yes, they recognized him. Yeah. Grown folks sitting there, who is he? Yes, hey, ain't that Mary's son? Ain't that Joseph the Copper's son? You remember that 